What's up guys, today we're going to be reacting to And They Were Roommates Now this is a podcast created by Kelly Wakasa, anne Chase, Elliot Choi and Ashley Your mom Ashley um, This video today is called Elliot Choi's Origin Story Ex-College Vlogger Episode 2 Now, I've watched a recent video of theirs You know what I mean? So if you guys do want to see the first episode I'll leave it in the description But yeah, if you guys do like this video Make sure you smash the like button And if you guys do want to see further reactions from me Make sure you subscribe down below we're posting every single day on this channel so yeah let's go let's get it man let's get it welcome back to your mom and they, they were roommates. roommates oh bro why did they do that blood i think it's <sighs> as good as we're gonna get it all right let me do that again let me go back welcome bro. back to and, and, and they, they were roommates, roommates. Okay, crazy bro they switched it off our bad fam well on let's this go. episode we're diving into old otogi otogi okay that's you. Choi. We explained in our last episode. I need one of them He's bottles from this a bottle hat here. That was gifted to Bro. me <laughs> by my sister. And Thank you, Amber. Elliot stole it, uh. and it looks great. It looks better on him, so he gets to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Now, Emery, describe the vibes that were happening right before we started this podcast. <laughs> yes, I was going to say, but I didn't want to manifest it. Elliot's in a mood. I am oh, not no. in a mood. He was eating his Chipotle, and I sad. came up to him, and he swats me. <laughs> Are you serious? Why? <laughs> and, and, uh, and then he said... What are we doing? Are we filming the podcast right now? And I was, I was like, Elliot, you're the one who just walked in like five minutes ago. You're the last one here. We've all been sitting here and waiting. So I think he was hangry, but he ate. So maybe he's not in the I mood think, anymore. I think he's happy now. Yeah. He, got the hat. he got the hat. He got the hat. His mood so much happier. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy now. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, but not every day yeah. is perfect, you know? I know. It's true, man. Perfect. <laughs> so what's on your mind, Elliot? Why were you being a bitch? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I was not. He was hungry. I was hungry. He was hungry, Kelly. <laughs> I was hangry. Mm-hmm. It's normal. It's a okay. thing. Is it normal to... Swat? <laughs> that's literally like siblings. It's pretty normal <laughs> like for me. Literally, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's normal And for then us. he tried to suck up to me by being extra nice. And I when? Said, Shut up. <laughs> when was I extra nice to you? You were like... I don't know. I don't remember. You're like... Elliot, I heard, said, oh, turn on that Sean Mendes higher. <laughs> <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> That's so uh, funny. So today we're diving into Otagi. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna find out all your secrets of your past. Mm. Your deepest, darkest secrets. I can't remember when I started watching Elliot, you know, because I definitely feel like I started watching Kelly when he, um, I think it, when he was moving into the career house with Elliot or probably just before that you know what i mean but um elliot bro i don't even know i really can't remember from i got a bad memory so yeah but comment down below you know what i mean if you've watched elliot for a while comment down below when you first started watching elliot you know what I mean? maybe you know what i mean funny and just i don't know <laughs> just comment down below so why don't we start with your birth how do you remember your birth? I remember What's when I sign? was <laughs> popping out <laughs> of my mother. What did it look like? It was dark and then it was light. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What was the first word you heard? It oh, was <laughs> 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 yes, that was the first word. Um, I was born in Miami, Florida. Really? That's lit. Oh. Who knew that? Who He's knew a party that? boy. Yeah, I actually knew that. He's did a party you really? boy. Yeah, I, I remember you not. telling me. You didn't know that? That is... The Come mo- on, Kelly. most unlike Elliot. Yeah, it like is, it is though. Like it's not <laughs> yeah. Look at him. <laughs> this is Miami. <laughs> I am what Miami represents. Yes. The best Miami has to offer. <laughs> Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I only lived there for a year. And then I moved to New York. Indiana. No, that's so New off. Jersey. New Jersey. Uh, no, that's off too. Wait, 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 wait. Korea. 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 No. Korea. No. no, you moved to California. <laughs> no. New York. You, you moved, moved to New York. No. no, no, no oh my no, no. gosh. Vanderbilt. <laughs> moved to Boston. Missouri. <laughs> no. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Maryland. You guys don't know Texas. me at all. Virginia. <laughs> they don't. Pittsburgh. No. Uh, what? I was never a Steelers fan. Go Steelers. No. Are you a Steelers fan? Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I got family in that. Pittsburgh. Mm. I only lived there for like another year or two. <laughs> These guys and then I moved to New Jersey. For how long? Wow. I feel so in tune with you now that I know that you lived in Pittsburgh. Really? Yes. I feel like we're on the same wavelength now. <laughs> okay, what am I thinking of right now? Three, two, one. Donuts. Bananas. 
Okay, close. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> 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 I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I lived in Pittsburgh for a year or two, and then I moved to New Jersey, right next to Princeton. Shout out Montgomery. All right. Actually, we should go sometime. We I'll should. I'll take you guys. I'm yeah. excited. It's my we favorite do childhood spots. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I moved from a condo into a house, and I grew up in that house. Nice. What a boss. Uh, and then, uh, and then, yeah, that's it. That's that was my life. No, <laughs> there's more. <laughs> how was New Jersey? What New did Jersey? you What did you do in New Jersey, and how, how what age did you live there for? <laughs> what did I do explain, in New Jersey? Explain I don't about know, I New just Jersey. Live. Everyone, get one step closer to Elliot. <laughs> Let's interrogate this. <laughs> guy. What was the vibe in New Jersey? Kelly just wants me close to ask. Are the roads you really that bad? How is it not pumping <laughs> your own gas? Explain. Oh yeah, yeah. I grew up not pumping my own gas. Glass. <laughs> did you have a speech yes. impediment as a kid? No. Did you, Kelly? Yeah, th- yeah, th- yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, I took speech a little bit. You did? So did my brother. Uh, everyone had. You to. guys are literally. I don't think speech. everyone, everyone had. Is there a speech class? Speech it's like, is speech taking speech a thing in the UK? Because I've never heard of it. I've never done it. My school never did it. I don't feel like there is. I feel like America. For some reason, I don't know why. I don't know, but. I, I don't know if in the UK we have that. Comment down below if you're watching in the UK and your score did it. You know what I mean? If you didn't, then yeah. That's not the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, yeah, I grew up around a lot of Asian people mm-hmm. because actually not just Asian people, a but lot of people. a very diverse crowd. Like mm-hmm. honestly, very diverse. That's nice. And yeah, it was good. I really liked Jersey actually. Mm-hmm. And oh, it's, it was pretty chill. I, Wait. I yeah. <laughs> are the Facebook photos that you showed me are those all from New Jersey? Those are from New Jersey. Okay, we found Elliot's childhood Facebook. You can never mm-hmm. go back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you want to see it? It's no, only on no, YouTube. no. We're putting it as an overlay <laughs> yeah, right now. <laughs> the old photos. Yeah, that Facebook is a throwback. They're good. But no, I, I grew up like. What did I do? I would ripstick, and ride bikes in the woods. In the woods. In the woods, because our backyard was like woods, and there are mm. these dirt trails where people go mountain biking. Not mountain biking, just were bike riding. Were you ever scared to go out in the woods? I was really adventurous as a kid. Mm. I liked to run around and bike around and rip stick around the neighborhood. Nice. And uh, yeah, I really liked to like play outside, basketball, soccer. I thought he was gonna say something else, and I looked trees, at the camera. Any trees. <laughs> Street, lots of trees. Same. Climbing trees, tree I love houses. Trees. <laughs> tree houses. Yep, made tree houses. Mm, yeah. And I agree. Like there would be big winter <laughs> storms. Trees would fall down and then we would use the tree to build a tree house. Whoa, really? That's some crazy stuff right there. Mm. Yeah. Damn. So when we had dinner with your parents, your dad said I don't know where this kid came from. What? <laughs> <laughs> In a good way, <laughs> and he said that you make life exciting in your family Mm -hmm. would you say that you're similar or different to your family i am quite different to my family and why my family is very calm collected he's just out there (laughs) and i'm not Mm. i think you seem calm and collected sometimes yeah (laughs) but other times no i was like a crazy kid i think i saw a video of you (laughs) yeah (laughs) i saw a video of you when you were like really little like in pajamas like dancing you showed me it yeah and i was like oh my god it's like literally you're exactly the same (laughs) (laughs) well not like i haven't seen this (laughs) no actually no you are (laughs) yeah i was pretty crazy Mm -hmm. i had a lot of energy bouncing off the walls a lot i do think it's interesting because you even before i moved in here with you i only saw the calm side Mm. Except for when you were editing, and then you do that thing. <laughs> where you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Bam! At, at the like, whatever, mm-hmm. the timing of the music. But I do think that's probably a side of you that not a lot of people see. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> they need yeah, to record it, put it in the video. Please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they get to see it in our video. Yeah, well, like, I feel sure. like I capture it for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Now, for the people that are just hearing about you right now, give them a little bit of background of who you are. Describe yourself. Yeah. Height, weight. Height, Bubble. weight. Zodiac sign. Yeah. Zodiac sign. Give, you know, people are very curious. You know, okay. Height, GPA. Weight. My height <laughs> is ethnicity, eye color, <laughs> social security. <laughs> okay, I'll give it all. Five, name? ten. <laughs> 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 I, I weigh 
155 pounds. That's light. Amazing. That's light. <laughs> I swear I'm like 210 or something. But I'm 200 and. Bro, I don't know. If I'm, I'm heavy though. It's like 210 I have plus. Dark brown eyes, 10 and dark brown hair. Wow. <laughs> I am visually impaired. <laughs> <laughs> and so I wear glasses. And what do you do for a living? I make videos on the interweb. That's so funny. How much money interweb? Do More than you. True. <laughs> 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 got a bag yeah, yesterday. <laughs> now, why don't we talk? <laughs> He's laughing about the money, bro. When you first wanted to be like a creator, because you know everyone knows you as a creator. Mm. But what was your aspirations before you wanted to be like a YouTuber? Very good. Mm-hmm. Question. Good. Great question. Can I get a sticker, please? Yes, mm-hmm. I will give you one after a star. Mm-hmm. I don't want a copyright sticker, please. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll give you <laughs> Anything one. but a copyright sticker. <laughs> um, yeah, I started doing photography in high school, and I think that's when I first mm-hmm. fell in love with cameras. And I would do like, you know, senior photo shoots. Mm, well, actually, yeah. it didn't start off with that. It started off with like and iPhone photos. This was in Indiana, right? This so was in Indiana, correct. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I would take pictures with my friend's iPhones. And I was really obsessed with like, you know, depth of field when you make the background look blurry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, this is so cool on the iPhones. Yeah. I actually, I remember <laughs> you, you showed me your pictures and I was like, oh my God, like, you're very talented, Ellie. I was like, these are crazy photos. Yeah. Like, I would not have known that. Like, <laughs> Kelly's was like, bro. Photography <laughs> and stuff. Like, it was crazy. <laughs> what Ashley's trying to say is that you've digressed. I, you I am not trying to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whenever I ask him to take photos, he tries not at all. <laughs> but back in the day, you were. A stud. Yeah. What happened to the photos? They're like crazy photos. I don't know. No, I just used uh, nice cameras. I didn't actually know anything really (laughs) yeah i would literally just use nice cameras but yeah i did like senior photos portrait shoots and i grew like an instagram page from that did you like color i mean you like color graded like the photos and everything yeah yeah like Like, (laughs) it was fancy the photos yeah Yeah. they were fancy photos i got really good at lightroom and stuff Mm -hmm. and yeah but did you oh uh uh-huh did you use that as a means to like network because Yeah, yeah i did Maybe talk more about mm. that, because even when I you came to visit me for the first time in LA, I dropped you off because you're gonna take photos for like another creator. Because mm. I think one thing about Elliot that really is, I mean, it's not surprising, but you're like one of the best networkers I know. But Bro. not in a it probably is, way. you know, that's you a just, good like, thing. You talk to a lot of people. Yeah, yeah you're yeah. very good at making friends yeah. everywhere you go. So I want to try to portray that somehow. Because yeah, I if I had what he had, bro, I'd love, bro. Just get to know everyone, you know what I mean? Everyone you come across, you know what I mean? Just, bro. Yeah, so... You'd be so yeah, further than where you are. Account, like, I definitely was offering to take photos for people. Um, and I got to meet people that way. I think that's actually how I got good at, like, talking to random strangers. <laughs> Not that I'm, like, that good. But, you know, right. you meet, like, a model. Well, you know, think about me as a freshman in high school. Point me. I'm <laughs> <laughs> that was pointed to Kelly, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like literally me as a fr- high school freshman, like this nervous, small Asian kid. And like, I would like hit up like these really attractive models. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, we should go shoot. <laughs> and then I go and it's like really Genius. awkward the first time. Mm. But then, but then I got better at like just going for it, just conversing. I wasn't like hitting on them. I was just yeah. like trying to be social. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so it was like a really good way for me to get better at talking to people and yeah and you're get very outside fast of my learner. comfort zone yeah like you got me really outside of my comfort zone that's good yeah i feel like when i first met you you kind of were really shy you were different i feel like you changed kind of a lot over the years mm. drastically interesting yeah but i think it's just you being a fast learner and you adapt quickly mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> i think um well, I think... I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Agree or disagree? I don't, I don't know. I think so. Yeah. That's my opinion. So, I mean, so we talked about... So you went from New Jersey mm-hmm. to Indiana. Mm. And then, I guess... So now we're kind of at like the point where like you were in high school. So you could talk about going to high school or applying for mm. colleges, going to college. Yeah. I was, uh, I was in high school. I was really involved with the orchestra because I, I played violin since I was like... Five, Violin's a hard wow. instrument, yeah, bro. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah, really a long time. Mm. Um, so I was like, 
orchestra council president <laughs> and like <laughs> and like um section i think leader. what was i bro i was i was a music prefect and i was i was a prefect in general as well fam. i mean yeah, I was a I was a normal prefect for the school, and then I was a music prefect because I did music, and um I played the drums as well. So they always, you know, what I mean, everyone always see me. Everyone was always seeing me in the music room, so they just gave me the title really and really. I think I might have applied for it. You know, I don't know. I might have done. Like you know, oh, yeah. were you oh, first yeah, chair? Elliot, or like leader. performing chair, arts prefect, second, depending on the semester. semester. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was like, it was kind of like all that I was really involved with. And it was super time consuming. So I didn't really have time for many other things. Mm -hmm. It was like my sport. Do you like miss the violin ever? We need to start a band. I would totally Mm -hmm. like, I would love to like play the violin again. Mm -hmm. You should get a violin. I'll get a piano. Yes. And we we start a band. I want to see if I'm going to play piano. She can play. Triangle. (laughs) You'll get your well, beautiful sure. voice. Oh, we should, yes, we should I make will a sing. song. That honestly classical so music's the best song. a different part of our creative brain. They can like do that. I never do anything musical. I actually could dance. dance. I could, oh, yeah. Dance. That's true. I could do dance with cheer. Kelly? I could cheerlead during the song. You, yeah. Dance with <laughs> Kelly, fam. I think I like we it. should actually do this. Trust yeah. me. That'd be sick. <laughs> That'd be good. But yeah. And then, so then, high school. Did you feel like you had a good high school experience? You liked high school? I went to a really big high school. So. Oh, yeah. Like huge. Yeah. Like we had 5,000 kids. So five thousand went to graduation and like some people walked to the stage I'd have never seen before in my life. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. That's like a small college size. That yeah, it was like a huge fun. high school. I think it's like one of the biggest public schools in the in the states. Damn. Um, but yeah, no, I had to adapt and find a friend group as everyone in that environment had to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so I hung out with a lot of orchestra friends, orchestra friends, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it was like pretty fun. I was pretty stressed because school was pretty competitive because yeah, there's a lot of kids yeah. so i can imagine only so many schools but yeah all, all my friends were really smart like all my closest friends went to harvard and Are you being harvard serious? yeah no. like no actually way. a lot of my friends went to like i feel like ivy leagues harvard yeah. Six. Not oh. me though. <laughs> i never fine. felt like i was like smart or anything in college or in high school because there's so many smart people around me that's actually crazy yeah so i was always like okay i'm like middle of the pack like damn average student which i was i was just like an average student i'm sure you Um, were a very good student yeah average (laughs) what was your gpa in high school that's like a 4.1 or something that's high but like but like that's ap's are weighted yeah it's like you know i don't even know what the max gpa was at my school it Mm -hmm. just depends on like what classes you take but probably like some kids have 4.3s fours you know like really high so 4.1's good (laughs) though 4.5.0. 4.5.0. I had a 4.2. I had a 5.5. Yeah. yeah. What was your actual GPA? Actually? What does um, if you're from America? Because I've never, I don't know this. Yeah. If you're from America, comment down below. What's the highest GPA for college that you can get or high school, whatever, whatever they're talking about. You guys will understand it, any. So just comment down the highest like grade you can get overall. Um, I actually I'd do love not to know. know my actual GPA, but I do know it was over 4.0. I think it was like 4.2 or 4.3. Kelly was low then. I, Look at I him. He was like 3.0. Uh, I bet like, Kelly was like 3.6, 3.8. I'm totally worried this wrong, but I just Maybe. know like at the end of the year. I feel like he's smart like, though, like, you for, know. I feel like people that like were like in like the top like 5% or like 10%. Oh. I was up there. All right, all right. It's about honor honor student. <laughs> my honor student. My kid is an honor student. You know. time, bro. I just watched an hour long video of him. <laughs> I just go. I went to go, uh, bro. I can't. Sp- I can't speak. I watched Beta Squad's video before this. You know what I mean? So I'm just tired, but we're getting <laughs> through, man. We're getting through. <laughs> we gotta make That's so yeah. funny. But Link in the description. Did you always yeah. want to go to Vanderbilt? <laughs> no, I wanted to go to Vanderbilt. NYU. Uh, I thought you wanted to go. Wanted to go to USC. I wanted to also go to USC. Um, I early actioned Cornell. I didn't want to go there. I just I don't know why I did that. But um, mm. yeah, like. I got into like my safeties and then Vandy I just applied to Vanderbilt I just applied to because my dad said I should so I did and then they gave me school. like a lot of money uh, for financial aid and mm-hmm. scholarships and I was like okay I guess I'm going here it's a really good school it's a great so, school yeah yeah it's a it's a solid school and um, I had a good time there In as Tennessee. well mm-hmm. yeah who would have thought yeah I, I could have like honestly, now that I'm boy. thinking about it like I didn't get into USC um, I didn't get into Cornell like I didn't really get into any other like close schools so maybe it's a mistake I don't know <laughs> no I mean I feel like <laughs> looking back at your college years 
you did a lot of damage at Bandy. You know, I feel like a lot of it shaped your life. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What I was it like? You know, going there, being a creator, and uh, you're like first couple of your experiences mm. yeah i changed a lot definitely like freshman year i joined as soon as i joined uh, or as soon as i got into college i joined a business frat uh ak Psy, and that helped me also socially <laughs> yeah because like you just get put in like these i don't know it's like a very like interesting environment where you just have to like be quick on your feet i think so and also then then we we were all in sororities or fraternities then all four of us yeah we were i guess it's actually hilarious and they're showing dr- is that is like ashley is okay i don't know if i'm yeah we'll it, count it. it looks like it was showing like drinks now as well wait <laughs> you got haze <laughs> oh, hey. uh, sure yeah. at usc i feel like it, the business frats like were almost more time consuming than mm. the actual social yeah frats. super time consuming they made us like memorize like the s p mm. the dow oh my gosh. like Report oh, on stock like companies. <laughs> companies. Yeah, I know, right? Go network. No. Yeah, literally. That's like, the worst hazing people. I've ever heard, Elliot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Terrible. That's the most terrible. Elliot thing I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but it made me very like business minded. I mean, I think I already was, but it like accelerated that. Good. And yeah, I I actually got a lot of confidence, like social confidence, from being in that uh, fraternity because it was like the cool the org cool. to be in, mm. and so. I was like, oh shit, I'm cool. Oh. oh cool. <laughs> Did you do any other clubs like in college or was that the main one? That was definitely the main one, mm-hmm. like my, my biggest involvement. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was like, you know, I don't know. It was. I feel like it was clouded on campus. Really? Yeah, That's it, hilarious. It actually was. So I was like, this is nice. Wow. Yeah. So it gave me a lot of social confidence, but then I, I didn't really like get too involved with it later. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys are the big fish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I started YouTube sophomore year of high school or of college. <laughs> I is that second saw, like, year? A bunch of it must be videos it. circling around on YouTube, and I was like, "That must be." These have like millions of views, mm. insane. Um, so I so I made one, and it Smart. did really well. Mm. And then I just kept going. Did and you like <laughs> consistently post Blue. like after your first one? Like how consistent or like that's how? Yeah. I was like that's posting every week or like that's really once good. or twice a week at least. Yeah, wow, that's yeah. every week style. after that video. Yeah, yeah. that's but great. It took me a while to be like, oh, I should keep going. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. was it just like the day in the life videos that like you're totally influenced by that you wanted to start, or was there like more like, I mean, you always did you know photography, but yeah, I guess it goes hand in hand. Yeah, I was already always like afraid of video because I never knew like it's it's different from photography you know mm. so i was like not sure how to make it work but i just kind of learned um and actually before like that day in the life video i really wanted to like do youtube because i like watched a lot of youtube growing up um i just never found the right opportunity until that day in the life thing um so you I, did I, a college niche you yeah because i tried I, I tried like doing e-commerce videos actually because i used to like resell in in Taco high stands. school so I made videos about that. They got like 100 views. All of my smartest friends resold items in high school. Really? I'm being completely serious. Wow. My friend that resold Supreme stuff, he went to Harvard. <laughs> they all. My Harvard friends did all not resell. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Bro. I thought I thought everyone at Harvard resold. <laughs> yeah, my Harvard friends did not You have reselling resell. on your resume, you go to Harvard. Yeah. <laughs> it's that easy. They're like, yes, I buy off the Supreme drop. <laughs> <laughs> Instant admission. You go to Harvard, it's just people like Supreme. <laughs> like everyone's rocking Supreme. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. good. Mm. Yeah. And then um what? You want me to talk about YouTube? <laughs> yeah, I want to talk about like, you know, the whole progression. I mean, yeah. do you feel like people at your school like recognized you a lot from YouTube, like eventually, or like how was that? Like how was it like being like the Vanderbilt YouTuber? Mm. I feel like yeah, because when I met you, you were on YouTube for three months and you had ninety thousand subscribers, <laughs> so that was pretty fast growth. Let's, yeah. oi, that's yeah, rough. I I grew pretty fast in the beginning, three months. just from like day in the life videos and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I was like, those videos do easy. so well. <laughs> <laughs> they do so well, man. But yeah, no, I yeah. was I was definitely like riding the momentum, mm-hmm. um, which was a good play. Like I just kept as you being should, consistent. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I think after a while, like I started to like find my footing a little bit more. Um, my friends were always like pretty supportive, and like I, I feel like some people are like, man, everyone I started and everyone was shitting on me. Like not really. Like you know, my friends were like, nice video. So that was really nice. Um, 
and I can imagine Brian being like, nice video. Yeah, <laughs> literally. So, yeah, I guess I just kept posting and tried to make better videos. Um, yeah, I feel like yeah. that's something like interesting. I feel like Anne Marie probably when you started YouTube, like doing YouTube, like wasn't a popular yeah. thing. And like YouTubers, like I know like YouTuber girls, like they would get like made fun of, like in yeah. school, like low key, like that's like I I did YouTube like when I was like twelve, and like. <laughs> so many people would like bother me about it. I was like, bro, I'm not even gonna do it anymore. No, it's true yeah, still. I didn't like, tell a lot of people just take the big well. And when I was in college, <laughs> there was like no college vloggers. Mm -hmm. So like, I was like, what should I do? Like, I was like, no one's gonna watch yeah, it's me. Yeah, it wasn't like an accepted thing. Yeah, I feel like. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it is a lot now, more now. Bro, so I feel like if you do say yeah. like, oh, I do YouTube, people are like, oh, like okay. But like before, it, people would be like, why? <laughs> Anne Marie walked so I could run. Oh my exactly. god. Like, I was just gonna say that. Really? <laughs> I was, but I was like, that's gonna be so annoying. <laughs> I'm trying not to be annoying. Yeah, Your words, not hers. Um, <laughs> when we met at the. Oh, I feel so seen right now. Wait, what? <laughs> Alright, I'll be nice to you. <laughs> what did I say? Yeah, I said I feel seen. Oh, seen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. What were you saying when we met at the what? When we met in New York, like, yeah. it was all the college YouTubers. Mm -hmm. And. I think I was, I was like, a veteran. You were a veteran, <laughs> yeah. I was graduated. Yeah. Oh wow. It's definitely a niche now. Like I think college yeah. YouTube is like a niche. Yeah. I don't think That's it was true. like even well defined when I was in college. I never went to um university. Over here it's called university or in America it's called college. I never went because I just felt like, you know what I mean, it's too much work, man. You know what I mean? It's a lot of pressure, man. And especially if you're not going there for a specific reason. Like, if you're going to be a doctor or a dentist or something, then you have to go to university. But, like, if you're not going to do anything like that, like that, then you might as well just get an apprenticeship or, you know what I mean, do something else. You know what I mean? Look somewhere else. Because college and university, especially college in America, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You, you end off your semester, you end off the whole college experience, you got like $150,000 in debt and stuff like, it's a lot of money, so, yeah. Over here, it's not as much, but it's still quite a bit. I just didn't want to be in debt, or well, not in debt, but I didn't want to be paying back, you know what I mean, money that I didn't want to be paying back, really and truly, because there was no point, so, hey. Maybe yeah. you feel differently, but now I feel like it's a full on niche. It is. No, it yeah. was not a thing. Like, I remember my mom was like, just do a weekly college vlog. And I'm like, mom, no one's going to watch that. Yeah. Oh, and then wow. when I actually started doing that and titling my videos weekly college vlogs, like, mm -hmm. that's when my channel started, wow. like, doing really well. But I was like a yeah. junior by that time. And I had a separate vlog channel. I was like, oh, because no one's going to want to watch this on my vlog channel. I think, like, school specific vlogs are, like, really helpful, too. Because yeah. I know yeah. you said, like, no one had really done that at Vanderbilt, yeah. right? So, like, that's where you're like, oh, I, I can be that person for Vanderbilt. Yeah, literally, it was like, okay, in high school, I remember going on YouTube and looking up, like, I got accepted into Vanderbilt, I mm -hmm. knew I was going, and I looked up videos on YouTube, mm -hmm. and it was just like, I would watch every single video, it, as long as it had Vanderbilt in the title, because I was really, really curious about, yeah, like, yeah. what is it like to go to college? I watched, like, these party you interviews, and, like, them. these, uh, like, maybe one day in the life video was, like, terrible. I didn't really know what it was like. Yeah. So, I think that's uh, honestly why I, I started, like, making the college videos was mm -hmm. because in high school when I looked up college videos, there was nothing that was really representative of what that life was looked like, yeah. what mm -hmm. that life looked like. He really yeah. just yeah. took his opportunity and went with it, man, because, like he's saying, no one else was doing it. And like me now, with this reaction channel, um, I started... A month ago, a month and a half ago, you know what I mean? My first ever reaction was Kelly Wicasa telling my roommate I have a crush on her. And um, before that, I was I was watching Kelly videos and this is that. And I was like, bro, imagine if... Because I know my reactions or my personal reactions when I'm off camera were so excited, were full of energy, you know what I mean? I was jumping up and down every time they were coming on, this is that. And I was like, bro, what if I put this on camera? You know what I mean? And I did put it on camera and the video did well. And I started gaining subscribers. Now look, we're on 70. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'm just blessed to be in this position, to be honest. I took an opportunity. Only one other guy that I know, you know what I mean, been reacting to Kelly, Castle, or any of these guys, really and truly. No one else really reacts to these guys. So, I was like, bro, I watch these guys all the time. I like their videos. I'm, I'm capable of being able to do reactions because of the setup and everything I've got here. <laughs> I was like, let me just take this opportunity and see what happens. You know what I mean? At the start, I was kind of just, you know what I mean? Just doing a reaction just to see. 
you know what I mean, see what what would happen. And it took off. Now I'm more invested and I think more deeply about it. But at the start, it was just for fun, you know what I mean? I didn't really care. But now I really care and I'm thankful for every person that subscribed, to be honest. Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be making these videos, you know what I mean? They take a lot of work. Reacting to all the videos, especially, and then editing them, you know what I mean? And then doing the whole criteria for... Um, optimization and seo it takes a lot of work so i'm just thankful that i've got you know what i mean the amount of people i've got watching me and hopefully you guys like the videos hopefully you guys watch until you know what i mean whenever i do anything else you get me because i don't want you guys just to watch this channel alone i want you guys to go to my main channel and watch the videos that i post on there i'm making a documentary about my room it's going to be a real in-depth documentary you know what i mean the title is called not just a room and um hopefully you guys will be interested in that you know what i mean i'll probably even react to it once i've finished it you know what i mean that could be a sick video i don't know i might make a docu series or i might just make a full length documentary but yeah that's the next project really and truly i've got a lot of videos planned for that channel but i just haven't got to them or i've got to them but i've just put them aside you know what i mean but i'm gonna get back on it but um yeah let's carry on with this video i'll talk to you guys more after we finish though that's really cool you saw you saw the need for the video and you mm. filled the need yeah, <laughs> yeah you saw the white space mm -hmm. it's crazy too because everyone that's going to vanderbilt now probably watches an elliot Choi video mm. yeah yeah like yeah, like literally probably <laughs> everyone that even goes to Vanderbilt, like you're graduates, so you probably aren't even thinking about it, but like probably like the new grads, like people just still be watching them probably yeah. right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. I remember sure. like once I had a larger following and then like I was like a senior mm -hmm. and then the f like the freshmen would come in oh, like, like the <laughs> first week. I like, yeah. Elliot Choi, the Elliot they're, just like <laughs> they're just like looking at me like, <gasps> oh, like there he is. <laughs> and I'm just like, what's up freshman? <laughs> it's actually kind of funny because you get to be like, you look, you get to be like, yeah. yeah. Like, no, I'm I just like guy. avoid them. I just like, because yeah. I'm on so my board. <laughs> so I was like, see ya. See you later, losers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. I honestly feel like the board, like, kind of like. shield. Not, not a shield. Actually, <laughs> maybe it is a shield, but I maybe think people were like, him. oh, he thinks kind of like case, to, case like, nice that or it. something. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You were telling me how people were like, kind of like, did not like you at a certain time yeah. because of the board and the huge camera. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was super busy, you know, like, I had to run from class to the to my room. Probably and had to like put the camera honestly, on the floor I to record I had a board himself. On my campus, yeah. Like, no, super convenient, but yeah. I think people were like, okay, like normally you go to class, you finish class, you walk with your friends. Yeah. Back mm. to like your dorm or something and then mm -hmm. you split off mm -hmm. but like i wouldn't walk back because i'm so busy i have to go back and edit and stuff mm -hmm. so like i was always like first out of the door i'm Zoom running in. to my dorm mm -hmm. and like i think people just kind of like oh he thinks he's like too cool for us or mm. something but i was just like mm. really busy yeah um so th there was a stage where i was like damn like people will keep me hating on me just for riding the board and minding your own business whatever yeah, sometimes I, I wonder if you know how to walk Elliot will, Dude. if he can avoid walking, <laughs> he will avoid it. <laughs> if there's, like, it's like snowing outside. in the apartment, it's like, snowing. there's he snow won't walk, the ground. He won't walk from one end to the apartment to the other. Like, he will either penny board or he will take yeah. the mini Tesla. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just so much more and efficient. It, like, <laughs> That's how you get I fat, though, man. I know about that. I know about that. That's how you just get way game, man. You are taking the boosted board. Outside, blood. Yeah. How's it gonna move? It's more efficient. It's dangerous. Yeah, I see. And you, know, you should wear a helmet. Well. Maybe you should get a kitty helmet with kitty ears on it. I will wear a kitty helmet. Mm -hmm. Let's look for them. I bet they have it. They gotta sure have they it. Do, yeah. Uh -huh. Or okay. I will glue kitty ears on my pink helmet for oh, you. Oh nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. Now that you're here, you know, out of college, everything. What are your like? What's your plan now? <laughs> <laughs> what is my plan? Yeah. My plan? To yeah, live life. life? I'm interviewing plan? you, man. Um, you know. You want kids? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kids. Let's ask these questions. Yeah, you want kids? <laughs> How many kids? kids? How many? I want, I want like at least two. I want five, I think three man. is ideal. Maybe four. Four or five. Also tolerate. Yeah, and five. And what are their names? Trust oh, me. God, Even I six. Kid I want one, big two, family. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to be alone. That's scary. Like, I just don't want to be alone, fam. I want someone to be with me all the time, so... If I have more kids, hopefully that happens. Like, <laughs> I didn't know you like numbers that <laughs> much. I really, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I really no, but like I'll have my wife with me as well. So, name my dog, like, but yeah, I just I just want a big family. You should name, name a dog Kitty. named Duck. Name a dog named yeah. Kitty. I would love that. Oh, Ducky would be Australian Shepherd, yeah. right? Yeah, I have a. 
I'm very accepting. I want a German Shepherd or an Australian Shepherd. What about a Dachshund? Or a Husky or a what? A Dachshund? I want a dog, this. but... What about a small... Like I want a dog, but dogs that... um, What's it called? Don't shed no hair, fam. Or shed little hair because... Bro, I do not want to be cleaning up and, and changing my clothes regular, bro. Like, that's just... If you've got a dog, I know people that have dogs, that dogs just shed hair like crazy, bro. And next thing you know, you see them on the street and they got bare hairs on them, fam. I'm just thinking, bro, like, what is going on? I couldn't do it. I really couldn't. That would affect me still. Your dog? Small white dog. Bro. You know, I've... I love... Even, I want a small my, dog, to be honest. Dog. Yeah. I grew up with... I actually grew up with my dog. It's I want crazy. a small one. Like, as long wow. as I can remember, she was Whoa, there. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Is she still alive? She is still alive. Oh my god. She's grandma. Mm. But she's grandma. She's chugging along. <laughs> yeah. No, she. Yeah, I just like I don't know. There's mm -hmm. so many. It's so stereotypical though for an Asian family to have a small white dog. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to fit into that stereotype. I think my mom had a small white dog when she was in Korea. Yeah. Well, my cousins have a small white dog. Like all Asian Americans have a small white dog, so. Trying like to break stuff the trend. in the eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's funny. But so yeah, I want to have kids. I want to get married. What? What age? Age. Thirty-two. Yeah, I want to get married. I, I don't want to get married early, bro, because you know what I mean. I want to be able to live my life. Especially, I want to be able to find a partner and do things with them before we have kids. You know what I mean? For, you know what I mean? Get married early, but then go on holidays and go on trips and explore the world and stuff. So that when we do have kids, we're not thinking, oh, why didn't we do this? Or why didn't we try that? You know what I mean? You don't want to ever feel like the kids are a burden. You know what I mean? Because if you feel like that, then just your life's just going to be terrible, mate. But yeah. You were the other day saying, I forget to who, but you're just like, yep, I'll be in New York until I'm 30. Well, I mean, you, Elliot told me that like the first time I met him, like in person, he was like, I'll be in New York until I'm 30. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's the goal. But like, honestly, I just want to be in New York as long as I... As long as, like, can you tolerate can, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you know, long as like, you're, like, not trying to settle down with, like, a family or something. I'm, like, young now. I have a lot of energy. I can tolerate the loud noises, yeah. the small spaces, the, the dirtiness. Mm -hmm. I feel like when I get older, I won't. So I'm mm -hmm. just, like, trying to hold on to that as yeah. long as possible. Yeah. Maybe I'll never get over it, but, yeah. yeah. I think the hardest thing to tolerate is the cold. Yeah, At least is it cold. that cold, mm -hmm. yeah. bro? England's but cold. What are you talking it's about? Fun though here. <laughs> England's yeah, sure. freezing. I think like mate. in New York, I work really hard, so that's mm. why I want to be in New York for as long mm. as possible. Because I feel like if I'm here, then I'm working hard. So mm. that means New like York's a fast city as well, man. That's why. Yeah. Hopefully things are going well. Fast, fast After city. After New York, where would you see yourself moving? Because we are trying to all live in the same cul-de-sac together <laughs> and have our kids live in, <laughs> <laughs> have be friends and go to the same school district. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really want to <laughs> end up in. California, I think. Mm. Okay, um, same, Elliot. A lot of my family same. is there. Okay, so are we all agreed on California? Anne-Marie? Yeah. Anne-Marie's going back to Alaska, <laughs> mate. <laughs> Anne-Marie's going back to the cold. What are you talking okay. about? Well, what did you say? Go. Agreed on California. Anne-Marie, what do you think? Depends on where in California. Okay, mm. well, San Diego. I would do San Diego. SoCal. Not yeah. LA. SoCal's good. Or I like between LA and SF, too. Like, I would love yeah, to live in Malibu or, like, oh, a little oh. bit more... <laughs> Malibu like is kind of barren, I felt I like. I thought you were going to yeah. say Bakersfield. I was like, uh, <laughs> what? No, no, no. I don't What's even the garlic know town? Uh, Gilroy? Yeah. <laughs> garlic <laughs> it town? It smells like garlic. Wait, why? <laughs> the whole town. Really? Is it like a, there's yeah. like a garbage dumper there no, or something? No, like that that's where your garlic probably comes from, yeah. I guess. Oh. oh. Yeah. Garlic yeah. ice cream. Garlic toast. They okay, got well, garlic ice cream. You're like crazy. And then if I smell like garlic because I eat so much garlic, no one can tell. That's a great plan, <laughs> Ashley. I had garlic yeah. today, to be honest. No, like, I actually <laughs> love garlic. <laughs> <laughs> this is why she makes like, the seriously. money she does. <laughs> Wait, actually? Like, Big actually. Thing. What's but your I, favorite I, food, Ali? I try not to eat it too much. Uh, Probably jajangmyeon or mm. pork katsu. Oh, I love, I love like, to say Japanese. pizza. Yeah. But I love that. Mm -hmm. But favorite like sport? Basketball. Mm. To play. Basketball. Mm. To watch. Basketball. Basketball or <laughs> F1? F1. He knows what. Is it true that he you knows what's going on? Buy an F1 racing team one day. Oh. I I thought that I did, but that's a lot of money. Yeah, it so is. <laughs> and and it's not always profitable. So <laughs> I think instead I would like to just drive. You know, like how Tony Stark does 
he co- he comes in and he just does a lap or something. Mm. You just want to do Or that. he races in one race mm-hmm. as a celebrity driver. That's mm. what I want to do. That's not a thing. Imagine if there was celebrity F1 drivers, bro. If they had like a whole like function just for celebrities to like race each other, bro. 24 drivers, celebrities, biggest celebrities in the world just racing for. They wouldn't be able to do it, bro, unless they had the proper training because them cars go 200, 300 miles an hour, you know what I mean? So, bro, they would just not, bro. They would have to get some serious training and, um,. They would have to be experienced enough to be able to drive the car and handle it the way you know i mean the g-forces i've heard is crazy so yeah i don't know if it would work it can be a thing yeah for you elliot yeah, i would like that to be a thing yeah why not you have to train but for that obsessed man. with cars i feel like you can't i feel like you don't talk about it in in any of your videos yeah. like once like Elliot is just obsessed with cars. I love cars. I literally overhear you like looking or like talking to people about like cars or like looking at car pictures. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I listen to car sounds. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot you literally said like there's this <laughs> one like Porsche <laughs> soundtrack of like a certain yeah. Porsche and you'll literally like sit there and listen to the it. Porsche GT3. Yeah. So nice. Like the That's like hilarious. So nice. You don't get enough yeah. horns in your room. You yeah. have the loudest room. Yeah, I know, literally, but there's it's so not many the same, horns. You know? Bro, get, my man. a lot of energy from oh, yeah. to like an engine rev. I don't know. I just like it. Pushing them to existence, man. You might just hear the sound of all you guys. You probably would. I'll smoke you. You probably would. You shouldn't be This video was really like two minutes long. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, that was. Go you would probably Oy. cry for days. I would cry for days. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. Do you have any other other random interests, you feel like? Random interests? Yeah. Mm. He loves cooking. I don't You've been really getting into cooking more. I swear. I don't I, love I'm cooking. Honestly. You cook I hate more. cooking, bro. Cooking Especially funny. cooking for other people, bro. And then you gotta deal with their problems. You gotta deal with what they want. And you know what I mean? They don't want the same thing as you, blood. You know what I mean? If you're cooking a group meal and then you're trying to put things that you want in there and they say, nah, I don't want that. It's like, bro, I ha- I don't wanna be cooking for you anyways, bro. I'm doing it because I wanna act and pro- don't get me vexed, blood. Comment down below if you like cooking for people. I ain't no chef, bro. I ain't no you know what I mean. They say, bro, this said. Uh, don't chat to me you get me i don't want to hear it bloods i hate i hate it takes too long bro i got other things to do bro i'm not trying to be in the kitchen for hours cooking your food but you know what i mean moving crazy comment down below if you like cooking for people fam because i hate it quite inefficient time wise you sound like if you cook for yourself <laughs> because if you cook for yourself you gotta make it yeah. you gotta eat it you gotta clean it up mm-hmm. if you cook with other people then like if you make it and eat it mm-hmm. someone else can clean or if oh. other people make it, other that people ain't the clean, case. whatever. That's like I but make food and then Kelly cleans it and it's very efficient. Yeah, it's super efficient. But I think like I don't me. like to cook for <laughs> myself, but I like cooking if other people are going to eat it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not that I can cook that much. Mm. Now, should we wrap it up with your favorite quote? Yes. Sure. My favorite quote. If you're setting... <laughs> I know it. I know. If you're... If you know... If you know you can achieve your goals, you are setting the bar way too low. Ah, I'm gonna have to write that down, mate. What did he say? What Uh, did he say? uh, If you if you you if you know you can wait, if you know you can achieve your goals, you're setting the bar way too low. I'm gonna I'm gonna achieve from one million subscribers this year, blood. (laughs) I know it. I know. One hundred thousand subscribers. If you know you can achieve your goals. You are setting the, the bar, bar way, way too, too low. low. Yeah, for sure. I love for it. sure. Beautiful. Absolutely. Who's that quote from? Uh, Ray Dalio. It's uh, from the book Principles. I'm after getting that. You guys read that book. Very good for life. Mm. Amazing. Yep. It will make you happier and successful. That's beautiful. All right. Well, ah. I guess we shall end the podcast. How do we normally end it? I forgot. Ready? Come on. With oh, the oh my God. I literally oh, can't. Yes. Only the okay. visual viewers can remember this. Okay, ready, you guys? This. Ready? Oh, I'm so bad at this. Your mom out. Bro, my hand won't (laughs) go. Did you say house? Yeah. You want to do it one more time? Bro, I can't, bro. Okay, ready? Let's just yell. Ready? Your Your mom's mom's out. out. (laughs) Your mom's out. You said your mom's out. Uh, I didn't mean... I can't do it, blood. Your Your mom mom out. out. I can't do it. Want to become a better filmmaker in just 14 days? Yes, I do. Anyways, anyways, that was, and they were roommates. Um, this is the second episode, Elliot's origin story. 14 days. It's good to know, you know what I mean. Well, it's it's good to know where people come from, you know what I mean, because it can inspire other people. And I guess in a way, them doing this allows other creators or small creators to be 
be thinking about okay what can i do how can i change and different stuff like that you know what i mean so i did like this video even though i just sat through an hour long video of beta squad and i jumped straight into this one i probably should have took a break because my energy was kind of low i don't know but um yeah if you guys do want to see more reactions to their podcast you know what i mean on sundays when it does come out make sure you smash the like button comment down below any other videos that you guys want me to react to of these guys you know what i mean because i haven't reacted to every single video of them but if you guys want to you know what i mean see any videos that they make you know what i mean comment down below or any videos that they um collaborate with because i had one comment and i'm gonna react to it after this but one guy said that he wanted me to react to a video that um another youtuber did with ashley so i'm gonna react to that but yeah if you guys do want to see any more videos you know what to do and yeah it's been your boy Montalius, and i'll catch you in the next one bye